Sorghum and pearl millet are robust cereal crops that can grow under harsh and dry conditions. But their growth is increasingly hampered by poor soils and the parasitic weed, Striga. <laughs> Striga grows on soils that are poor and tired. On new and fertile soil, Striga does not grow. Before we left the field fallow when it was tired and cleared a new field. But today this is no longer practiced. You are obliged to stay in the same field and Striga will develop until it destroys your harvest. Striger attaches to the roots of crops and sucks its water and nutrients, hindering normal crop development. There are two types of striger, one that attacks cereals like millet and sorghum, and another one that attacks cowpea. In this video we will focus on the striger that attacks cereals as it causes the most damage. While red flowered striga grows in eastern and southern Africa, the purple flowered one appears across Africa. We will learn about the various striga control measures and why we need to combine them to fight this enemy. So, what can we do? The solution is called integrated striga and soil fertility management. Once you understand the four key principles of integrated striga and soil fertility management, you can explore how you can apply them in your own field. First, know your enemy. If you know how striga lives, you will better understand how certain practices help to control this noxious weed. Farmers in Nkalakala village in central Tanzania explain to us what they've learned in their farmer field school. Because striga is dangerous for the crop, I advise that you do not leave it in your field even in the dry season. Even after I've finished harvesting, when I let my animals graze, if I see striga, I must remove it because it is dangerous. It is dangerous because it continues producing seeds and the following season you'll have so many striga weeds in your field. Second, as poor soil fertility and striga infestation are linked, it is useless to control striga without improving the soil fertility at the same time. The effect of striga is very serious on poor soil. To solve this, you have to make compost, because if you work your land and you have nothing to enrich your soil, you will not harvest anything. Third, combine at least three striga control options in your infested field. Continue this practice until the problem is solved. But stay alert at all times. The reason for combining control options is to reduce striga in the field faster because a single option will take too much time. If you combine three or four control methods in your field for several years, you can reduce striga. Good compost conserves soil humidity and fertilizes the soil. Those who have money can also apply a microdose of about 2 grams of black fertilizer per hill. At ridging or hilling you can apply the white fertilizer. 
You can enter crop with one or two rows of cowpea and one or two rows of pearl millet. The spreading cowpea will cover the soil, fertilize it and suppress the emergence of striga. Finally, hand pulling striga reduces the number of seeds present in the soil. Because if you do this, you prevent new seeds from falling in your field. Fourth, make striga control a community effort. Farmers in Mali and Tanzania join hands to reduce the drudgery of hand pulling. Their community efforts also help them avoid spreading striga seeds to neighboring fields. If I cultivate my crop when striga is present, I can fight against striga, but it is necessary that my neighbors do the same in their fields. Otherwise my efforts will be in vain when it rains heavily, because rainwater will wash striga seeds into my plot. So for a good result you and your neighbors must work together to fight against striga. We work together so that Striga does not continue flowering and attack the crop. Also to finish weeding faster and easier and to prevent the Striga weeds from spreading their seeds. We work together in unity to hand pull Striga to strengthen the togetherness of the community. So, let us remember the four key principles about integrated striga and soil fertility management. First, know your enemy. Striga is a parasitic weed that produces thousands of tiny seeds. Second, striga causes more damage to crops in poor soils, so both problems have to be tackled together. Third, Combine at least three control methods to reduce striga and obtain a good yield. Fourth, join forces with others in the community for striga control as its seeds easily spread from one field to another. Integrating different methods is crucial to obtain a good result. The other videos in this series will explain to you in more detail the range of options available to improve soil fertility and fight striga.